Great job. Now my capacity as principal of Wood Memorial High School, I am pleased to announce that I have examined the academic records of these 74 students and have found them to meet the requirements for graduation from high school as set forth by the laws of the state of Indiana and the policy set forth by the Board of Education of the East Gibson School Corporation. As principal, I am proud and honored to recommend them to you, Dr. Brewster, as the graduating class of 2017. Class of 2017, ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor as I introduce to you the superintendent of the East Gibson School Corporation, Dr. Mike Brewster. As superintendent of the East Gibson School Corporation, I want to congratulate each of you on your accomplishments. I would like to share two very powerful words with you before you take your first steps as graduates of Wood Memorial High School. The first word is humility. Webster's Dictionary defines humility as a state of quality of being humble, freedom from pride and arrogance. I encourage you not to place your position or your successes too high. Realize that your successes will not be accomplished by yourself. Always understand it will be the efforts of your family and those around you that will determine your success. Think in terms of others, not just me. See yourself as just a spoke and a very large wheel that is needed to accomplish goals and objectives. Our country's successful CEOs have become successful due to the efforts of others. I'm always remembered of Henry Ford and the success that he had due to Lee Iacocca and the invention of the famous Ford Mustang. In 1 Peter 5.5, 5, clothe yourself with humility towards one another because God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. I encourage you, don't ever forget where you came from. Don't take yourself too seriously. Be humble. Michelle Obama said, we learned about gratitude and humility that so many people had a hand in our success, from the teachers who inspired us to the janitors who kept our school clean. And we were taught to value everyone's contribution and treat everyone with respect. Jesse Jackson stated, never look down on anyone unless you're helping them up. Robert Poet was reported as saying, count no day lost in which you've waited your turn to only your share and saw advantage of no one. Mark Micah said, always accept good fortune with grace and humility. Edward Frederick Lindy Wood said, true merit, like a river, that deeper it is, the less noise it makes. Abraham Lincoln, our 16th United States President was quoted, what kills a skunk is the publicity it gives itself. The second word is the adjective kind. Webster defines kind as being of sympathetic or helpful nature. William Hazlitt was quoted as saying, a gentle word, a kind look, a good natured smile can work wonders and accomplish miracles. Mother Teresa said, Kind words can be short and easy to speak, but their echoes are truly endless. Be kind. I, like Taylor, are going to reference a country song by Tim McGraw, which sums up these two words, humble and kind, pretty well. A portion of the lyrics reads this way. You know there's a lot that goes by the front door. Don't forget the keys under the mat. Childhood stars shine. Always stay humble and kind. Go to church because your mama says to. Visit grandpa every chance you can. It won't be a waste of time. Always stay humble and kind. 
Hold the door, say please, say thank you. Don't steal, don't cheat, and don't lie. I know you got mountains to climb, but always stay humble and kind. When the dreams you're dreaming come to you, when the work you put in is realized, let yourself feel the pride, but always stay humble and kind. Don't expect a free ride from no one. Don't hold grudges or chip, and here's why. Bitterness keeps you from flying. Always stay humble and kind. Know the difference, excuse me. Hold the door, say please, say thank you. Don't steal, don't cheat, don't lie. I know you got mountains to climb, but always stay humble and kind. When those dreams you're dreaming come to you, when the work you put in is realized, let yourself feel the pride, but always stay humble and kind. When it's hot, drink a root beer, eat a popsicle, shut off the AC and roll the windows down. Let the summer run, sun shine, but always stay humble and kind. Don't take for granted the love this life gives you when you get where you're going. Don't forget to turn back around, help the next one in line, and always stay humble and kind. As you prepare to leave the gym and take your first steps as graduates of Woodland Memorial High School, I want to encourage you to work hard, reach for the stars. Your life is a story, make it a bestseller. An old Frank Sinatra song entitled My Way states, let the record show I took the blows, and I did it my way. Finally, I'm always reminded of a Robert Frost poem during graduation that reads this way. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep, and miles to go before I sleep. On this day, Saturday, May 27, 2017, it is a great honor to be in a position to say, on behalf of the East Gibson School Corporation, I declare the class of 2017 graduates of Wood Memorial High School. means we're going to award diplomas here shortly. Uh, before we do, I do uh, want to recognize our curriculum director and guidance director, Ms. Beth Hill, Ms. Kelly Carlton, who put a lot of effort into helping with the transcripts, the diplomas, as well as throughout your four year and helping us launch a, a new four year student planning process. Ladies, thank you for all your efforts. Before we enter the roll call, I'd like to give you a bit of information about the cords you'll see some of our students wearing today. Members of the class of 2017 wearing the yellow cords signify Indiana Academic Honors Diploma recipients. Members of the class of 2017 wearing the royal blue cords signify Indiana Technical Honors Diploma recipients. Members of the class of 2017 wearing the white cords signify Indiana Core 40 Diploma recipients. Individuals wearing red cords have been recognized by the American Red Cross for their dedicated commitment to the organization's blood drive. Members of the class of 2017 wearing the white stoles signify membership in the National Honor Society. We would ask that you hold your applause until the last member of the class has received their diploma. Class of 2017, it is now time to award your diplomas. Mackenzie Louise Adams. Austin Michael Allen. David Allen Anderson. Taylor Elaine Andes. Jacob Andrew Aspirin.
Jordan and Badger. Chloe Nadine Bartlett. Francis Alex Beasley. Jonathan Quentin Bickler. Hayden Lucas Beal. Veronica Lynn Bittner. Jenica Taryn Ricky. Kendall Marie Briggs. Jeremy Wayne Buck. Nicholas Gabriel Birch. Brock Scott Carter. Dalton Lane Coburn. Chandler Monroe Corn. Sydney Elizabeth Day. Cyan Aaron Edwards. Lexus K. Ellerbrook. Kimberly Paige Ellerman. Caitlin Marie Englehart. Tyler Raymond Flusher. Caleb Martin Head. Kylie Diane Head. Jacob Robert Helm. Logan Nathaniel Hensley. Sabrina Marie Hicks. Kyla Maxine Hightower. Cameron Hunter Alchins. Tristan Ethan Ray Alchins. Jarris Renee Humphrey. Robert James Hewitt. Oh. Kaylin Grace Engel. Justin Lee Jones. Charlotte Ellen Knoll. <laughs> Josie Rayanne Lipscomb. <laughs> Morgan May Loveless. <laughs> Brenna Jalissa. My friends. Kendall Cheyenne, my friends. Hope 
Renee Malin. <laughs> Alyssa Janae Mann. <laughs> Lacey Lee Lynn Marshall. <laughs> Tucker Kent McCrary. Nathaniel Young McDowell. <laughs> Dylan Patrick McGuinn. <laughs> Cassidy Faye McIntosh. <laughs> Dylan Joseph Michael. Quentin Lee Mike. <laughs> Caitlin Rose Miley. <laughs> Luxus Ann Miller. <laughs> Ashlyn Nicole Morgan. Alexis Louise Passwater. <laughs> Taylor Ann Blue. <laughs> Jesse Michael Hahn. <laughs> Corbin Reese Richardson. <laughs> David Strider Ricketts. <laughs> Tristan James Riley. <laughs> Carson Ellen Robinson. <laughs> Dalton Levi Robinson. Nicole Rudolph. <laughs> Cassidy Scar Solomon. <laughs> Destiny Lynn Showalter. <laughs> Keegan Gregory Simmons. Emily Victoria Simpson. <laughs> Tristan Orion Smith. <laughs> Jordan Douglas Stamper. <laughs> Michaela Christine Stalker. Kyle Lee Teepee. <laughs> Caitlin Allie Thacker. <laughs> Spencer Blake Vickers. <laughs> Tristan Luke Vickers. James Paul Weber. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, the Wood Memorial Class of 2017. to recognize those members of the class of 2017 wearing the red, white, and blue honor cords 
and who will be heading to the United States military. Would those individuals please stand? Gentlemen, it is indeed an honor to represent our country, and on behalf of those here today, thank you for the duty of country for which you are about to embark, and may God bless you with his love and guidance, protecting you as you protect all of us, allowing each of us to enjoy the freedoms of the greatest country on the face of the earth. God bless you all. got the diplomas, we're ready to go. One, one more piece of business. I know she's anxiously awaiting her speech, but ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor now to introduce to you the president of the class of 2017, Ms. Carson Robinson. Carson graduates today, ranks sixth in her class. She's earned an Indiana Academic Honors Diploma and is a member of the National Honor Society. Her parents are Mr. Joe and Mrs. Kim Robinson. Would you please stand and be recognized at this time? <laughs> Carson was a very active student here at Wood Memorial, holding memberships in Yearbook, Principal Student Advisory Council, Champions Together, Peers Project, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Academic Team, and Peer Tutoring. She earned varsity letters in volleyball, girls basketball, and softball. Carson has received the Warren Park Scholarship and the Dollars for Scholars Academic Honors Scholarship. When asked about her favorite teacher, her favorite Wood Memorial teacher, Carson responded with Gary Horrell, mathematics instructor, Ms. Brenda Barrett, mathematics instructor, and Ms. Janet Gentry, science instructor, because they all knew how to push me to be my best. Carson plans on attending Indiana University in the fall. She plans on studying business. Ladies and gentlemen, class of 2017, it is my honor, your final speaker of the day, and your class president, Ms. Carson Robinson. Our teachers, parents, families, 
and the community for their support in helping us all make it to this very big day in our lives. Our lives are going to take us on all different paths, but we will forever have one thing in common, and that is to say that we are the 2017 graduating class from Woodmore. Because once a Trojan, always a Trojan. So I wish you all the best of luck on your next chapter and the path you decide to take. Like Dr. Seuss said, whatever your name may be, you're off to great places, today is your day, your mountain is waving, so get on your way. Thank you. Thank you. 